Hi, Awoken One. You're tuned into Woke Nation TV. Today, we are going to talk about the Kenga God and the Kenga title, indigenously known to the Igbo people of Nigeria. If you're new here, please click and subscribe. You can also turn on notifications to receive our weekly posts. In the Igbo culture, there are several gods that people worship and revere, just like the Egyptian gods. Each god has its special power and what they are known for, like the Kinga. The Kinga is the god of war and strength. It is a horn deity and is one of the most powerful and respected gods in Igbo land. He is the third highest god of the Igbo land, closely after Chuku, the sky god and creator, and Allah, god of earth. Chuku who is the god of all gods is often referred to as Chuku Kike or Chineke. Ikenga can be termed as a personal god, otherwise referred to as Chi. Ikenga is a statue that every adult may enshrine in his or her compound as a reminder that in everyday thought and action, one spirit must constantly be elevated towards God, Chukokike. The title Ikenga is bested on men of good repute and men who have shown unarguable good character in their communities. The title is also a staff of authority for Igbo kings. Ikenga title is a personal embodiment of human endeavor, achievement, success, and victory. The Ikenga title is grounded in the belief that the power for a man to accomplish things is in his right hand. It also governs over the industry, farming, and blacksmithing, and is celebrated every year with an annual festival. The title holders are of the belief that the title brings wealth and fortune as well as protection. The two-faced Ikenga is the oldest concept of its type in Igbo land. It is a two-faced god, with one face looking at the old year, while one face looks at the new year. This is the basis of the oldest and most ancient Igbo calendar. Ikenga requires consecration before usage. Normally, the god is consecrated in the presence of one king's men or age meets by lineage head. Offerings of things like yam, cork, wine, kola nut, and alligator pepper are sacrificed to it. There are two types of Ikenga, warrior Ikenga. This type of god statue depicts a well human figure with a horn and a fierce expression seated on his stool. It corresponds to the stage in the life when men are expected to demonstrate their military power owned by many of the younger members of the age grades. Community Kenga This type of god statue has a superstructure with human animal images or boats. The community Kenga stands for the group rather than the individual achievement and prestige. There you have it. Hope you learned something about the Kenga. If there is anything we didn't get right, feel free to drop a comment about the video. And the best comments will be pinned. If you have interesting topics you would like us to make with special thanks to you, can you send us an email or drop your topic in the comment section and we will do well to grant your request. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, share, and click on the subscribe for more.